Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Stuffed Cabbage Adventures. Today we are in the Hungarian countryside, in a very specific part of it actually, known as the Örség. So today we'll explore the area, find out what it has to offer, why it's known as Örség, and what this cute fellow behind me is. So let's go on today's adventure. So today we are visiting the Örség region. Now, while I was researching what are the top things to see, I actually stumbled upon this particular structure. Now, apparently the name in Hungarian for these objects is Horonglab. The literal translation might be bells feet, but looking at this picture, I think bell with a skirt would be a better fit. As I was looking at the particular areas, attractions to find, I stumbled upon a second one of these things, and then a third one, and a fourth one. And apparently, this area is full of these objects. It is a very specific and unique structure to the Örség region. I got very curious, what's the story behind this? So today, I'm gonna show you not only the top attractions of Örség, but I'm gonna also tell you some interesting fun facts about bells with skirts. Let's go on a fun tour today. Boom! So the first Horang Lab that we will actually see today might not be extraordinary, but it has a very interesting story. The villagers were in an argument where to actually build this bell with a skirt, and the local judge actually wanted it to be obviously in his back <laughs> garden. The judge has built this bell in his backyard, but then one night the local innkeeper instructed a couple of lads to basically go and take the thing apart. I guess alcohol was involved with this process. Nevertheless, within one night, based on the innkeeper's instructions, they moved the bell from one place to the other where the villagers originally wanted it to be. So let's go and see that. just arrived to our next location, which is actually a lookout tower. We were basically on the other side of the Kétvölgy, which means two valleys. And I guess that's where the, the other valley is. And here in the middle is a little um, lookout tower, somewhere there. I don't know how to do this. And the sun is already shining so hard, I'm gonna need my sunglasses, I think. So why is this place called the Örség? Basically, when the Hungarians came to this region slightly more than a thousand years ago, they basically needed some watchmen. The people here were meant to actually defend the border against anybody who might come from the neighboring countries. And hence, this region is called basically region of watchmen, the Örség. This is very, 
very peaceful and calm. Man, I don't even want to raise my voice here. Basically, if we would walk a little bit further down that road, we would be in another country, Slovenia. actually had to stop within the forest because the view was simply mesmerizing. Fun fact that this is one of the only regions in Hungary where two-thirds of the overall area is covered by forest and there's actually a primeval forest as well. You cannot go there. The people from the national park actually want to preserve it as is. There are however a ton of different routes you can take when you want to go for a hiking trip. If you love forests then there's a ton of it here. So we arrived to the Skonzen, which is an open air museum. But one thing I wanted to discuss first is why is it that there are so many Horang labs all over the place? So these bells with skirts, they are cheap to make. When people started to move in here, they were mostly poor farmers and they didn't have enough money to raise churches. So in order to still have some sort of religious ceremony and they could still have bells to toll, this was the cheapest option. So that is why the region has so many of these horong labs, these bells with skirts. What's also very cool about this place is that there are wild buffaloes. I mean obviously they're not running around wild but you can go and check them out and also some wild horses.
and the mirrors are so nice, na? Bye bye. There's a ton of pottery work that's quite famous in the area. Basically here, in this region, the clay is so good that there are so many dynasties going back more than a hundred years, several hundred years actually, still doing pottery work and doing very nice little things. Very nice little doggy, no? And next we're going to a church. This one that we're going to visit is more than 800 years old. So let's see how a very old temple uh, here within the woods looks like. quickly noticed while we came here is that this church has a moat and the reason for that is apparently that back in the day this was also a fortress so it's basically a church fortress a temple fortress uh, that's very cool So this horong lab, or bell with a skirt, is the most interesting one here in the area, simply because if you look at its skirt, it's made out of reed. All the other ones have been renovated and they are made out of shingle. Now, this has been restored as it was 250 years ago, which also makes it the most old horong lab here in the Urshig. And because of that, it's actually considered to be the symbol of this area. So next we'll check out another bell with a skirt, but actually no, it does not have a skirt, but it still counts as a horong lab and it's going to be quite unique because of how it looks. So let's go. The last horong lab we have seen is still considered a horong lab. That is because if the structure is higher than most buildings in the village, then it will become a bell tower. However, as this was not taller than most buildings, it is still considered a horong lab, despite looking completely different. And now we are at the Vodashatu. There are many different lakes like this one that you can visit during your hikes and maybe make uh, some new friends on the way. We 
are about to leave for our last stop of the day, which is some marshlands. Hopefully uh, we won't get swamped there. Let's go. Well, that concludes our little visit here in the marshlands. Going through this pass makes it a very pleasant experience actually and I would highly recommend for everybody to also come here if you are in the region. Before we leave there is one more thing I want to share. Just one final interesting story. There is one horonglab this bell with a skirt which has a memory engraved into it. The village folk have fought really hard to become part of Hungary again after they were actually placed within the Serbian, Croatian, Slovenian kingdom after World War I. But since they fought very hard, they made it possible to become part of Hungary again. And there is one bell that commemorates that here in the Urshig. Have a nice trip if you come here. Bye!